Okay. Okay, everybody. So here's our exercises for class three. First are our things for immunity. So the, re the things that are review are your triple warmer smoothie, um, the triple warmer neurovasculars, and um, the full neurovascular hold. And that's just to keep everything calmed down. Then the other thing you can do is you can thump your spleen, you can thump your thymus, and then the deeper applications um, for that would be, once again, to find that heart electric point, draw the line in from the armpit and up from the nipple, remember only on the left side of the body, take your other hands and you can feed it into the thymus for a deeper treatment, or feed it into that spleen 21 point, which is six inches down from the armpit. That you can do on both sides, you can switch hands, whatever you like, you can hold those anywhere from one or two minutes to 10 or 20 if you're just hanging out. So then for digestion, um, we already talked about things to bring down stress and things for grounding are going to be awesome for digestion all around. So in review of those, um, we have the yin and yang flow. So if you remember, we have that point, the yin point at the bottom of the foot and the yang point at the side of the toe. We have spooning our feet and we also have that stomach thump. So those are all great for grounding. And then for stress, once again, the triple warmer smoothie, the neurovasculars, the hookup, and the zip up. All those exercises are on your other, um, other DVDs, other uh, videos. So some of the new things we learned, we have the belt flow, that nice radiant circuit that comes right across the um, digestive organs. So we reach from behind, we trace a line across the body, three or four times, kind of a medium pressure, and then the last time we go down the opposite leg and off the foot, and then we do the same thing from the other side. Three or four nice strokes, and then down and off the opposite foot. Then the other thing we learned new was how to reset those sensitive valves, um, the ileocecal and the Houston valves. We learned that valves are really sensitive to stress. So you take the pinky side of your hand and lay it on the inside of your hip on both sides. Fold your hand down, press in with your fingers, and with a deep pressure, drag your fingers up, shake them off, and you're gonna do that three or four times, always breathing in the nose and out the mouth, and then smooth them down. Okay, what else did we do? Ah, the energy envelopes of the digestive organs. Remember those kind of rich energy auras that are around each organ? So on the right side, we have, if you think of the nipple is the center, a little to the outside, a little to the inside, we have liver and gallbladder. So you can just three or four strokes down, tonify that. On the other side, we have stomach and spleen, three or four, five or six times, light to medium pressure. Um, then we make our Z, starting from the right side of the body for small intestine. So just drag across and make your big Z. You're gonna do that three or four times. Then large intestine comes up, across, and down. Up, across, and down. And you'll do that three, four, five times. And the last one is pancreas. On the left side, just kind of draw a sweep across the rib cage. Very simple. Now the next group of points we have are our source points that sends energy directly to the digestive organs. We have the large intestine one that's right in the middle of the web. You can just give a nice medium pressure there. Or we have small intestine, which is if you trace down, feel the bone, you're gonna fall into a little nook. You're gonna feel a bone and then a second nook. If you kind of cock your hand to the side, you'll fall right into it. And that small intestine actually you can do both of them at the same time. 10, 15, 20 seconds, medium pressure rub, awesome for those. And then we have the ones on the foot. We have spleen, which is go past the bunion bone and rub up against the bone there. We have liver between the second, the first and the second toe, just past the knuckle, you fall into a little nook there. Gallbladder, if you trace up your fourth toe and you'll fall into that little nook right before the um, ankle bone, and I think, oh, and stomach. Trace up the second toe, and just when you get to that high point in the foot, you can rub in there. You can do both feet, rub them from anywhere for 10 to 15 seconds. 
Um, and then lastly, you do have all the neural lymphatics that relate to the um, digestive system, but you can see those, oh, did I do those on the other tapes? Can't remember. And before we get there, the other thing is you can once again take that heart electric and you can feed it into your spleen source point or your stomach source point. Um, you can't feed it into the energy envelopes, but either the source points or the neural lymphatic points you can. Let's see if I have time to fit on this tape, the ones for digestion. Under the right rib cage, we have liver. Under the left rib cage, remember these we rub with a deep pressure. We have um, stomach. In this kind of semicircle or kind of upside down, I'm gonna call this horseshoe, underneath the rib cage, we have small intestine. And then if you rub deeply the inside and outside of the leg, the outside is large intestine and the inside is small intestine. These are likely to be really tender. And I think, oh, gallbladder, come down kind of where K27 is, and a little bit lower on the sternum, rub that deeply, and then right in the middle here, we have stomach. So again, you can feed, you can take that liver point and feed the heart electric into it, or into the stomach point, or into the large intestine point, or any of the source points. I think we got it all down, um, and I'll see you guys on Wednesday.